Good day viewers, I make this uh, video for Segviel Intransito, I hope I spell it alright. He got an 8 to 8 tomato from Lenders and Gear and uh, likes to uh, connect it up uh, to a uh, 110 volt supply. So um, yeah, I'll show you the registers here. I've fitted additional LEDs in there which uh, uh, connect to pulses. The meter receives pulses from a meter at the front of my house. I've got two time clocks which uh, switch the different rates at different times of the day. It's two weekend rates and then uh, these times for the other registers. I derived pulses from uh, an S217 meter with impulse. So, and it goes into a summator first. And this particular meter needs 250 impulses per kilowatt hour. Got two maximum demand registers. I will open these meters up shortly. Here we got the S217 meter, which gets uh, pulses. I put a pulse deco generator underneath uh, the disc, which uh, counts uh, pulses in four watt hour events. So yeah, there's a pulse uh, device in here. Off topic, I just noticed one of my Senga model SPA01 decided to uh, throw a greenie as well. Still works, uh, but uh, pulsing, pulsing is a bit strange for some reason. Something must have happened, I don't know why. Okay, here we got pulses coming in at a reasonable speed. Each pulse represents for, uh, presents four watt hours. And it gets calculated onto this counter here. And these pulses go onto this register here. Beautifully made, typical lenders and gear. Just go around uh, different registers on these things. Beautiful clockwork. You can see the solenoid pulsing in. And then these pulses go in from this particular meter onto this meter, which is an 8 rate summator. The first two terminals is 110 volts AC. And then, oh, that's a spare terminal. And then all these other terminals are basically the different registers which are connected to the time clocks. Oh, there we get the momentum. And from here it gets accumulated to this device here. These meters all reading uh, kilowatt hours times 0.1. And I put LEDs in them, so I know which register is pulsing. Up to six, and then seven is spare, and eight is hours, so that's 200 uh, and 1,000 hours. And the LEDs are in series is the, is the, how do you call it, the bridge rectifiers and the solenoids. Pieces of art, these meters. Motor running. Mm -hmm. 
pretend to be a kid. Lucas, push, push. Lola stopped off a bit, the meter runs a bit slow now. This is pure clock heaven. The way the Swiss they make these things are just amazing. Four watt hour for poles. Again, for in transito to connect this meter up, we need uh, 110 volts AC on these two terminals. 100 or 110 depends what type it is. Tariff 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's a pulse constant. Um, that's a special separated motor for a pulse output, which I have separated. So um, I'm not using these. And that's a pulse output, you can cascade these particular meters uh, behind each other here. Some winding motor is just going on, I've got an LED on that. It goes off again, so I just put a bridge rectifier in series with the AC winding. So i got here two more other summators, one is an 8 weight uh, version. And um, that's a SOM air meter, this comes XPCM in RNM. And this is a 48 uh, sommeter Extems Valley electric power board in Te Aroa. The Te Aroa meter head is schematic, so that is, I know these meters are all wired up differently. So this is an original Landis and Gaia diagram, so let's have a look at that. And that should uh, hopefully work. Let the camera roll and hopefully you can uh, show how these things work exactly. Um, okay, they're the internal connector uh, terminals. These are the impulse solenoids, which drive the actual register, um, which has a spring-loaded uh, mechanism on it, so I'll turn this meter around. So, um, this particular meter is a 5 way device. There's two coils here and three on the other side. Then uh, we've got a winding motor here. Oh, the cat is showing. Hello, Lucas. You want to have a look at my meter? And that's the 110 volt winding motor. Oh, good push. No, 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 Lucas, come on. So that winds and it's got a spare and a switch that turns itself off. That winds up uh, this particular drum wheel here, which keeps the mechanism charged. So the impulses will release the mechanism and uh, the registers will advance. So this is a 5 rate meter, this particular one with a totalizing device. And then there's a pulse output counter that is driven by another motor that got this particular thing. You could you could see that in operation on the other meter earlier in the video. And that got a motor here is a coil here. That's a uh, 110 volt coil with a motor which drives this particular uh, mechanism. So it's the meters are designed to get pulses from. Uh, Multiple pulses at the same time from uh, different uh, source, sources like uh, KVAs and kilowatt hours and KVAs and add them all up. And I think these meters even can subtract when you put the appropriate gearing on them. Quick all over of the mechanism. Uh, these particular calls they do work on uh, DC. Um, can't see the actual uh, bridge rectifiers on this particular one, but um, I'll open the other meter up and I'll show you. So here these silver devices here are the Siemens rectifiers and the AC wires going in there and they're going to the terminal strips here which go to the actual uh, registers on these particular meters. See if there's some spring charge left in this particular one. No, it's ran out completely. So this is the 4 uh, version. 
Okay, two meters there and a cat, or oh, three meters and a cat. Good day. Oh, Ricky. Thanks for watching. Here's just a quick overview. There's a lot of stuff in this meter. There's uh, electronic optocoupler sits underneath the disc, and that reads the black mark of the disc, and uh, there's a little relay in here as well. That gives the pulses, and that's uh, 110 volts goes on that, while the those parts went on 12 volt supply, external power supply. Um, let's see where the disc should be able to see if the mark is coming past somewhere. Load is not that high. So, yeah, that's basically the way it's set up here. Oh, right, where that's a pulse. Yeah, the mark is. So it scans the mark on the side. So, yeah, that's what needs to be done. Any meter could be used for that. To uh, get the pulses out of this, gonna run the clock that meter. The pulsing is interesting. It's uh, not solid pulse; it's just flickering. The meter has gone two and a half times around the clock, so it may start getting some problems.